years so that when the bad times come they will not suffer they are well fed and strong if during these good times if you will not build up your inner man to be bold and strong when the evil one comes and tempts you what will you do if you don't teach your children to be martyrs what will you do you know the lord gave me an assignment he said prepare an army of martyrs for me so we started an outreach since we have a television network so i created a television program for children because that's the age group the lord told me and i'm teaching them about martyrdom not the dangers of martyrdom but the glories of martyrdom this is something that people don't know no they think it's painful to get killed or hurt no it's so glorious glorious before you even feel a tinge of pain your spirit leaves the body this is something most people don't know and it's only the flesh that's getting hit you know your spirit is already out of the body it's already out there's only the first tinge of pain that's all it leaves the body that is the blessed gift that god has given to the martyrs the first blood need to spill the first drop that's all the spirit comes out and is joyously joined together with the company of glorified martyred saints if you will not teach your children today to be martyrs a hero for a martyr when that time comes when you can't buy or sell anything except without the mark the cries and the woes and the pleadings of your children can force you to compromise and take the mark but let me warn you don't you ever dupe yourself into thinking god understands no he does not you know my favorite heroes in the bible are the three hebrew boys in daniel chapter 3 what i like about them is not the fact that god saved them you know what i like about them is the statement they said our god is able to save us even if he does not that's what i like him even if he does not our faith does not rest in the fact that god will prevent us from getting hurt that god will keep us from all danger our hope and our trust and our faith is not in preventive even if god forsakes us we will not bow down to this idol even if god forsakes us even if we suffer pain even if we suffer humiliation even if we suffer lack we will not bow down god is still a good god even when all things fail god is still a good god you need you need to train your spirit to come to that level if a if three 17 year old youths can say that what about great saints like you all you can do better than that isn't it you can certainly do better than that please t- 
train your children teach your children to be martyrs for the glory of god if you read revelation chapter 6 when the fifth seal is opened the apostle john sees a many souls martyr souls in heaven and they all were crying out to god lord how long how long will you be patient they were crying and the lord comforted them and he said be patient until the number of your brethren are also completed so it seems that god has a certain number a certain required number that this requirement must be met why is it like that i don't know that is god's government but one thing i know for sure when a drop of blood comes forth from the body of a martyr each drop will redeem one soul for the kingdom of god so you have 5 liters of blood in your body can you imagine how many drops of blood there are in 5 liters and how many thousands of souls that will bring into the kingdom of god so how glorious it is to die as a martyr the number of the martyrs needs to be fulfilled